Liz, you were able to uh, take the stage and soak up that spotlight tonight on Megan's behalf, who uh, won this amazing award. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit why it's important for everyone in our community to have a safe place to be creative and get those creative juices flowing. I thought that, that was a safe a question. That is a really good question. <laughs> At the same time, I don't mean to be rude, no. but I'm just going to say, yeah. why shouldn't there be a safe and creative space for everybody mm. to be able to be their true selves in their true identities, to be as creative and fabulous and wonderful and difficult and whatever it might be as, as possible. Mm -hmm. And to achieve, like it, it should be, it doesn't matter whether you live with or without disability, but all humans should be in a place where they can explore creativity and be assisted wherever possible to reach their full creative potential. Yeah. What is this award going to mean to Megan? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Megan is extraordinary. Yeah. They, um, they live with a number of different disabilities, which means they are often housebound. But they are prolific on social media. One or two, if not three, posts a day. Every time they put an image up, there's an image description and that takes time and it takes care and mindfulness. The brilliant burlesque show that they produced, performed and directed last year was quite phenomenal. I was mm -hmm. there on the desk and I watched all these different people. I, I'm a performing artist myself mm -hmm. and loads of the audience members I had never seen before. I was like, well, okay, she, uh, they have discovered this entirely new audience. They haven't discovered. They have identified and facilitated the opportunity to come to a theatre for lots of different people who have mm. never been to a theatre before. Yeah. They create the most extraordinary visual art. I presented a show last weekend and we projected their work on the massive screen and it was so powerful. It almost overwhelmed the performing artists. I think it's going to mean such a great, great deal, particularly when you live with disability like Megan does, and you can't be out. Like, they can't be here this evening. Mm. So you become invisible. Mm. And they do everything they can to ensure that they do not become invisible, their art is not invisible, but they also support so many other artists. It was a very long answer, but it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Megan, tonight, we see you. We do. We hear you. We do. And uh, we love you. Pass our love on to Megan. We will. <laughs>